All right, guys, welcome back to 1983. Uh, so Reza have just overnight dropped some brand new content, which includes a new car and this version of Bathurst, uh, obviously from 1983, together with the rest of the historic uh, recreations of famous circuits. We're in a period correct car as well, the McLaren MP4 slash 1C. Uh, so I'll have a bit of a look around. Very, very first time looking at this. Love the old pit, pit straight. Uh, the very basic. Uh, pit bays there before they put the big media center in and the fancy new garages. So that looks really cool. Up in the T1, the old signage on the side there, including the Fosters or Fasters logo as they have here, uh, which I think now is probably a grandstand of some sort there, and there's also a lot more uh, gravel trap there. Love the old house on the side there, that looks very 80s. Looks like a few of my friends' places from back in the day. Up Mountain Straight, obviously the, the thing that really hits you uh, with the old Bathurst is just the lack of fencing. And the fencing that is there is very, very basic, as you can see, which is just there to keep the horses in and just to find everyone's farms, I suppose. Um, so this gives that greater sense of danger because uh, you can you, know, you spear off and there's nothing to really catch you. Especially up here that are cutting lots of exposed Mother Nature. I don't know why, but it always feels better to hit a wall than to hit a mountain. Up in the Reed Park and Sulman Park. Off to the side, the old tyre barrier there. And some McPhillamine Skyline, which of course now is that fence there a lot further in. There's a huge uh, gravel trap there these days to catch the cars. That old cash or GTX uh, building there, not sure what that is. Seen it in uh, all the recreations. I don't know if it's uh, just a media tower or a spotter's uh, tower or something. Looks really cool. Top of the hill there. Down to the depot, which again always feels more dangerous. Probably because there's a bit of earth sticking out from the side there you can run into. And down the Forest Elbow, which of course where Dick Johnson had his famous off back in the 80s in the Green's Tough Falcon. So you really see the uh, amount of detail that Reza put into these historic recreations. They've done it now with Imola, Hockenheim, Spa, there's an old Interlagos layout, this Bathurst. Um, you can really see why it takes the time it does. I mean, look at the, on the left hand side there, you just got a glimpse of the old, one of the old homesteads there. Um, so you really appreciate the amount of work that goes into something like this. Makes me really look forward to the uh, Nordschlofer 1971 layout they're working on at the moment, including the old Southern Loop. Um, that's going to be phenomenal as well, I imagine. Even just the colour scheme here with the with the grass, it feels very much like a, a hot summer's day back in the 80s. Um, obviously we're on sort of a, a current date layout here, so it's fairly accurate. Obviously no chase there. Conrod goes all the way down to the uh, big braking zone down into Murray's. So I'll do a bit of a flying lap now. Now, 983 McLaren. And this car is a, a 3 litre V8. I've got to say, a little detail on this car, but I absolutely love the, uh, the mirrors. I don't know why, they're sort of very futuristic and spacey. Up in the Griffin's Bend there. Try not to go off into, uh, into the scrub. Nice and careful over the top of the mountain. Feels so much tighter there through McFinley Park. All the walls are brought in quite a bit. Uh, feels like there's a lot more room, and there is a lot more room, a lot more runoff. Here we go, here's the big change. Conrad Straight is a massive uh, multi kilometer long straight now. Just uh, five gears here in the McLaren, we'll let this run out. No setup, just the default setup. And the 
bravery comes where you pick your breaking point down here. I think that was uh, that was more than late enough. And one more lap. Certainly hope one day they might add some uh, retro touring cars into the game. That would be pretty cool. Some of the old uh, mid-80s uh, uh, Falcons and Commodores. You know, some of the old uh, you know, Group C stuff. Old Sierras, BMWs. Be pretty cool to blast those sort of things around this version of Bathurst. So maybe try and recreate a few famous moments. Like the Dick Johnson uh, green stuff moment when he went off at Forest Elbow. Some Peter Brock liveries for those Holden fans out there, that'll be pretty cool. Love the trees as well. The trees look really, really good. <laughs> Minor detail, but um, all adds to the immersion, I suppose. See the old tracks uh, there uh, on the properties as well. Just little details, just give it, um, just bring it to life. A little bit earlier on the brakes, not as brave as the first time. All right, guys, there we go. So that's Bathurst 983. Uh, if you've got one of the historic track packs, it'll already be in your uh, AMS2 library. If not, grab it. No idea how much it costs, but uh, whatever it is, it's definitely worth it. Uh, take care.